Hey guys, Private Jack here, and in this tutorial we're going to talk about installing NIF tools, the NIF file format importer for Blender. I have it installed in Blender 2.8.3.4 already, and it works quite well. Here you see the dragon from uh, Scrim or Skyrim, however you want to pronounce it. And basically, um, yeah, caveat though, this is the dragon from the old version of Skyrim, the current special edition version. The NIF files are formatted differently and will not import using this tool. So if you're looking at importing uh, Skyrim special edition, you're going to have to do some reading up on the net. There's another three uh, third-party pro uh, program out there that you have to use, export OBJ files and then import OBJs, skeleton them up and actually weight paint the models in order to get them to work. That said, these are the games that uh, use NIF files and that this particular version of NIF supports. It says uh, Sky, Scrim here, however Sky, uh, Scrim is the old version uh, prior to the special edition version. That said, let's get on with it. Okay, so to find it, all we do is open up a browser, do a search for NIF tools, and this link right here is the one that we want, www.niftools.org. This is the project main page. We go here, we have a look, and we can see the different products that the or the community is offering. The one that we want is right here, Blender NIF plugin. Click that link. It's going to bring us here to a GitHub page. Now, when I first downloaded this, I downloaded from here, and this is the master, and it was a real bugger to get up and running in Blender. What I had to do is I had to actually open the zip file and manually install this folder into uh, the Blender's plugins uh, a a folder. And then I had to go back and I actually had to download Piffy and put the module for Piffy into Blender as well. Fortunately, I found that we don't have to do that. All we have to do now is go to the releases here and here we're going to find releases for Blender 2.80 and above. And if we scroll down here in the bottom of the page, we're going to find the plugin if you're using Blender 2.79 or lower. Uh, the one that I'm going to show you how to install is this one, the 2.80 version. And to get to the actual download site, what I do is I click on this link here. It opens up a new page. And now when I scroll down to the bottom of the page, I find the zip file that I have to download to install. I click on that, let it download to my desktop. And then like with all stuff that I grab from the net, I throw it through a virus scan. And for some reason, Camtasia has decided that it's not going to allow me to actually scan the file. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to pause the uh, pause the video and pick up as the uh, file is scanning. So I got my virus scanner up and running. I've already scanned it twice to make sure it's going to do it. I click on scan for viruses, here it goes, it's scanning through, and basically comes back, safe, no threats, I'm happy to use this plugin. I don't know why Camtasia has all of a sudden interfered with my actual virus scanner, but it's something that I'm going to be firing off a message to TechSmith about. So, now that I have this zip file downloaded. All I do now is launch Blender. Like I say, I'm using Blender 2.91.0 Alpha. I don't have NIF tools installed right now, so all I do now is I go Edit, 
preferences, go to add-ons, click on the install button, send this file browser to where I have that zip file downloaded, click on the zip file, click install add-on. As soon as the add-on loads, it's going to present itself in the file list and I have to click the box to turn it on. When I click on the box, and if I come over here into the actual scenes tab of my property panel, I'm going to find down at the bottom of the page that NIF Tools has installed. And again, here are those different games that we're allowed to mod. There's also other places that NIF Tool inserts itself. Here in the uh, uh, objects properties panel and also down here in the materials property panel. I'll get into loading models into this program into Blender using this plugin later uh, but for now this was just showing you how to get it installed and working in Blender. So with that I can close out Blender now and I can say Private Jack out.